Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back to another video here on the channel where in today's video in Microsoft Flight Simulator we are going to be having a look at a problem that I've been having recently and on reading various different forums and servers etc lots of other people have also been having and that involves the Phoenix Airbus A320 not launching properly and starting up with the Phoenix app. Now, of course, those of you who use the Phoenix aircraft will know that the Phoenix app has to be running in the background in order for the Phoenix aircraft to actually work. During the load-in process, this normally happens automatically and the Phoenix app comes to life in the background, minimized into your system tray, and if all is well, you don't actually even know that it's there, but it is running. It then becomes a major frustration when you actually get into the simulator, spawned in, get inside the cockpit to be presented with blank screens and a Phoenix tablet that isn't connected or running. It also usually means that none of the buttons are responsive, you can't connect any external power, the APU won't run, and yeah, as you can see, basically, you've just got a bricked, broken aircraft. Some people have also reported that as well as just having blank screens, they get all kinds of images come up on the display units, such as bright white screens. And I've also seen screenshots of uh, rainbow colors as well. Now, if the Phoenix app isn't running, and obviously you can check that in the systems tray, you can actually launch the Phoenix app yourself from the desktop. However, recently I have been doing this, but it's still not connected with my simulator, still leaving my A320 brain broken and unresponsive. I've restarted the simulator, I've restarted the computer, and it's still hit and miss as to whether my Phoenix aircraft is ever actually going to work. I have also been made aware that there are some liveries which can interfere with sort of the internal workings of the Phoenix aircraft, uh, which can break the aircraft and so don't work. But I have tried this before with liveries that have tried tested and I know work, and of course the default Phoenix livery, and I've still had similar issues. Now, interestingly enough, this issue only really started to present itself quite often uh, following a recent update to GSX. Now, I can't with any confidence say that that is any sort of mitigating factor, but I would be very interested to hear if anybody else has had issues with the Phoenix app no longer launching uh, since a similar update or anything else you may have changed in your simulator, such as an update to GSX, for example, just to see if anyone else out there has any common ground with myself. So please do leave a comment down below if you are having similar issues. So frustrating as this was, wondering every time I wanted to fly my Phoenix aircraft, will it work or won't it work? I actually got in touch with the uh, Phoenix devs regarding this issue and they did suggest a little trick to try. And I'm very pleased to say that since doing this, I have never since had an issue. And every time I have loaded in my Phoenix aircraft, it has worked perfectly with the Phoenix app auto launching as it should do. So this is what you need to do if you're having a similar issue. So we are going to make a small amendment to your SIM Connect XML file. Now, this can be found quite easily if you find your community folder and go back up a couple of folders into your local cache folder and scroll down until you find the simconnect.xml file. Now, of course, when we're editing stuff like this, we always want to keep a copy of the original file just in case. So just copy that and go and uh, paste that, save it somewhere so you have the original copy. Next then, open this with an editor. Notepad is absolutely fine. And then once you've got this open, you need to look through it and find all the places in this file where it says max clients 64. Now we're going to change the value to 128, 128, and that can just be done simply by a, a quick search, finding the line max clients and then 64 and just editing it, changing it to 128. Now make sure you go through this thoroughly. I use the find feature as you can see here on screen and I think I got this four or five times. So it's not just uh, in one place. You will see it located throughout several uh, uh, lines of uh, of code. 
Once that is done and you've gone through all of those, make sure that you save the file and that is it. That is a little change. Now, I'm no tech expert, so please don't ask me in great detail what this does. All I know is that since making this change, the aircraft has performed flawlessly every time I've launched it. Of course, once you've done this, save the file, launch the simulator, and hopefully now the Phoenix app should run automatically in the background whenever you want to spawn in using the Phoenix A320. As I said previously, since making this change, I have never once had an issue with the Phoenix aircraft not launching correctly. And the app has always been launched automatically. I've never needed to start it from the desktop. So hopefully that simple little fix will work for you as well if you're also having the same issue. So please do leave a comment down below if you have been having an issue and this has helped to resolve it and you're now happily flying the aircraft without any further problems. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you have found this video of some use. If you have, then please don't forget to leave a like. Of course, remember, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of our future videos and, of course, our live streamed flights. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye for now.